The Iceberg Thermal Ice Flow Oasis 360 is part of the new series of all-in-one liquid CPU coolers from the new manufacturer, Iceberg Thermal. The Ice Flow series of liquid CPU coolers are advertised to be the top-of-the-line series of the company, sporting a great cooling performance, plenty of customizable RGB LEDs and a competitive price tag. And in today's review, we have the 360mm model and an i7-14700K CPU that is in need of cooling. But can the Ice Flow Oasis handle it? We shall see. The Ice Flow Oasis 360 is, as the name suggests, an all in one liquid CPU cooler that uses a 360mm radiator to dissipate the heat of the CPU. Not only that, but this CPU cooler has no less than three 120mm fans included in the package. The price of the Iceflow Oasis 360, at least at the time of this review, is 90 US dollars, which is impressive given that many 360mm liquid CPU coolers are priced well above 150 US dollars and some going as high as 250 US dollars. Not only is the price of this CPU cooler competitive, but the warranty offered by the manufacturer is higher than a lot of competing models, 7 years to be exact, for an IM1 liquid CPU cooler no less. So far, the Iceflow Oasis 360 looks like a good deal, but looks are often deceiving so we need to dig deeper. From a design standpoint, this CPU cooler is gorgeous yet basic in many ways. There are no flashy LCD screens to tell you the real-time CPU temperature, no added features in terms of the design, such as interchangeable water block casings or the water block logo for that matter. Instead, this CPU cooler looks purpose-built to cool your CPU and has some design elements sprinkled on the top to make it look good in your system. However, that does not mean that the Iceflow Oasis 360 is lacking in terms of designs and design-related features. For starters, the top of the water block can be rotated with ease, especially when the cooler is already installed in your system. You simply grab the top plate of the water block and rotate it in either direction to change the orientation of the Iceberg Thermal logo. This is useful if you are using a type of case that only allows the installation of the radiator and water block in certain positions and thus with the logo sideways or even upside down. An added note here is that it would have been nice to have the options to Replace the Iceberg Thermal logo with a custom logo, but not a lot of manufacturers are willing to do that. The CPU water block is done well with an all black casing that has an angular and abstract shape and design, something that is shared across the entire Iceberg Thermal product range. The base plate of the CPU cooler is made from solid copper and has a smooth surface. The core plate is attached to the pump assembly with the help of 8 torque screws. The tubing used with the Iceflow Oasis 360 has a length of 460mm and are covered by good quality synthetic sleeving. On the CPU block end, the tubes are using plastic angled fittings that can swivel to create more clearance for the motherboard and make the routing of the tubing in the system easier. On the radiator side, however, the fittings are the standard, fixed in place and straight. The Iceflow Oasis 360 has as its highlight the 360mm radiator. It's a simple radiator that has been widely used with a lot of CPU coolers. It has a length of 397mm, a width of 120mm and a thickness of 27mm. So it's your standard radiator in this regard. However, it does have a few features. For starters, it has an air bleeding port near the fittings of the tube. This bleeding port is used to add more liquid and bleed the air from the system, however, it has a warranty void if removed label on it and thus you should not really mess with it. The active cooling is done by three 120mm fans. These are the Iceberg Thermal Ice Gale Lightning ARGB fans. They are available to purchase as separate products in either a 3 fan pack or a single product. The fans have a minimum speed of 200 rpm and a maximum speed of 2200 rpm. The speed can be controlled through the 4 pin PWM compatible connector. In terms of the RGB, these fans are equipped with the latest generation of addressable RGB LEDs and can be daisy chained. 
the RGB signal I mean. Other features with these fans include rubber pads on both corners of the fan frame to dampen vibrations and prevent scratches on the radiator of the cooler, as well as thin and black cables to match the rest of the system. It's unfortunate that the cables are not sleeved to add more protection to the wires but it is what it is. When we talk about the accessories, you do get the essential and that's about it. You have two backplates for multiple sockets, two CPU block brackets, one for AMD and one for Intel, the Intel one being pre-installed on the block, and of course the hardware to install everything in your system. This includes bolts, screws, double threaded standoffs and two types of adapters. One that will allow you to power all the three fans from a single motherboard one fan header and the other one that will allow you to power the pump directly from the power supply. You also get a small tube of thermal compound. The CPU cooler and all of its included accessories are well packaged in what I can only call a simple and standard cardboard box with a cardboard tray inside. There isn't anything fancy about it. No soft foam to dampen vibrations or impacts, just cardboard and some plastic bags. And it does the job just fine. The installation of the CPU cooler cannot be made simpler than this. You get your desired backplate and install it on the back of the motherboard. Then at the front you get the correct for your socket, standoffs and screw them into the backplate. Once that is done, apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and place the CPU water block over the CPU and into the standoffs. Do not forget to remove the protective plastic label from the CPU core plate before you're doing this though. Because I have seen one too many CPUs being overheated because of that label. You secure the CPU block with the spring loaded thumb screws and that's it for the installation. Of course you also need to secure the radiator somewhere in your case but that is different and on a case by case situation. No pun intended. And with this cooler installed, we get to see just how good the Iceflow Oasis 360 looks like inside a modern system. The RGB is present and works well enough without being obnoxious, and the all black color of the CPU cooler matches all the colors in your system. The CPU water block is not big at all and should not interfere with the VRM heatsinks of the motherboard. The testing of the CPU cooler will be done with an Intel i7-14700K CPU that has no thermal limits and thus it will be running at its maximum power of 250 watts, to be exact. While this new testing system is better than the older one, it has some challenges that I will have to address as I keep reviewing CPU coolers. Right now we have a single temperature test at 250 watts of TDP, but later I will expand the testing methodology to include various TDP values and noise normalized results. However, before we see how good the cooling is with the CPU cooler, we need to hear how it sounds. And that's why you have a noise sample of the CPU cooler and its included fans going from 0 RPM or at least the lowest RPM possible to their maximum RPM. In our case, it's 200 RPM to 2200 RPM. With a maximum speed of 2200 RPM for all three 120mm fans, the CPU cooler reached a maximum noise output of just 44 decibels, measured with a measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10cm away from the CPU and the CPU cooler. A great result considering that we have three 120mm fans pushing air at maximum speed through a radiator no less. When we talk about the cooling performance, things are impressive to say the least. While the new testing platform basically removed most of the CPU cores I've already reviewed in the past, I still had some cores to test against the Iceflow OAC360 and the results are in. With an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, the Icepack Thermal Iceflow OAC360 is at the top of the charts, with a CPU temperature of 72 degrees at maximum load, beating two all-in-one liquid CPU cores and several air CPU cores as well. A great performance when we look at the low noise generated by the fans, also when we talk about the noise of the pump, well there isn't one. The pump only makes a sharp noise when the system starts up and the liquid is being pressurized, afterwards everything is silent and you cannot even record the noise of the pump over the noise of the fans. While skeptical at first because every CPU cooler these days claims to be the best on the market, I am now fully convinced that this CPU cooler is one of the best you can get right now for under 150 US dollars. 
With the proper discounts, you can get this CPU cooler for close to 90 US dollars, which is impressive. The competitive price tag, long warranty, and great performance is why the iSpec Thermal Ice Flow OAC 360 receives the Editor's Choice Award, and more than likely, this cooler will replace my NHD15 in the editing computer because it's just that good. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you'll have the links for both the Patreon and the Superstar pages of this channel.